Funko Monsters, I'm back! It's me, the Funko Monster. Uh, today I'm bringing a full set review. I'm sorry if the sound's different. The microphone, I don't think it works, to be honest. So I might be uh, getting a new one. But, uh, I'm trying to speak a little louder because the camera is far away. And the bipod's broken so on instead of three stands, on two. So it's leaning against the wall. Anyways, we're doing a full set review of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 set. I'm really excited to do this uh, review, but uh, let's just take a look at all the pop. There you go. Love the background. I think that's very nice. So much better than the last one. That's very cool. Love the colors. Uh, this collects this uh, collection, this set, uh, is from... Funko Pop Marvel number 198 to number 206. Now, I will not be including... I'm going to mention this in Funko Friday when it comes. Uh, I will not be including the exclusives in the set unless it was on the back. Which, there is none. I thought there was at least one, but there isn't. So, they don't count. Uh, maybe sometimes when there is an exclusive, I will review it on my personal channel. Uh, which I want to feature it in my, in this channel, but I don't know how, so <laughs> uh, I'll figure out a way one day, but maybe I'll just leave a link every video, but anyways, uh, the first pop is Star Lord, man. Uh, I love this pop so much better than the original, although I <coughs> I'm not going to lie, I did like the mask a lot better, but uh, there was a chase. And then there is a Toys R Us exclusive with him, uh, with the, uh, I think it's like a jetpack or something. But, uh, this definitely does have more of a Chris Pratt likeness than the one that, the exclusive from Box Lunch. Uh, but he's got this weird designed shirt right here. Let me move this light back. Uh, I, I cleared out most of my desk, so now I can actually move. <laughs> but, uh, it's got a weird... Like, the logo looks like, uh, Asian, but there's definitely some English in there. I like the blasters. I think they look very good. Love the hair. Love the expression. Love that jacket. I did review the Marvel Legend, too, and, uh, this looks very much like it. Uh, I'm not gonna take it out. This is the Funko channel, alright? Uh, anyways. Very nice pose. Uh... Uh, again, they do have the chase, uh, same number, obviously, but, oh, if I can find him, uh, for a decent price, I'll go up to 30, maybe 40, depending on how good the box is, because usually the place that gets a lot of chases in, around my area, they kind of come a little damaged, but it's whatever, uh, but yeah, here's a 360 of Star-Lord, man. I'm eating the table, so sorry if the camera's shaking. Uh, but Gamora, okay. Now, I don't feel like this is Gamora's thing. Uh, I did see, like, the Marvel Legend. I hate to compare this to Marvel Legends a lot, but the Marvel Legend comic Gamora has, um, like a sword, and you think she uses a sword a lot, which I believe she does in the first movie. So I wish. I might just pop this head off. I might buy another one. Pop this head off. Buy another one of the original. Which should be cheap enough. But I love the green colors. Uh, she does have some design on there. You can actually see it very vaguely. You'll see it in 360. I like the hair. How it's not over. It looks more realistic and not overly exaggerating. Uh, she's got some like stuff. Let's just call that dandruff. Uh, but the gun looks pretty good. She does come with a display base. Now the display base is much different. Uh, one's bigger than the other, and they're both bigger than the originals, which I, I kind of have a problem with this, because, like, I think she finds, okay, she, she needs a little balance, but, like, okay, she's not standing. I saw someone else review this. She's standing fucking perfectly. 
Okay, yeah, but so she stand fine, alright. I could use this to display base for another character, but now I can't because this is too big. So, Funko, I'm glad you're making sturdier, and I feel like this is more uh, thicker than before, but I'm glad you're doing that and all, but, like, come on. Like, go back to the original with the next waves that have a female character that can't stand very well. Uh, but she does have a very nice uh, upper half. She doesn't have a real life No. Uh, you can see the jetpack there. That's the jetpack that comes with the Toilet Arts exclusive Star-Lord. So that's good. I like the colors on it too. It's like a maroon color. It's got these details on her belt. On her belt. <laughs> I'm knocking everything over. Uh, her pants. <laughs> Uh, but very nice pop. Uh, now let's just go straight to the 360 for Gamora. The next pop, which is a very good improvement from the original as well, you know, I think I said Gamora too, but, uh, this is a very good improvement, but again, I mean, I can see him doing this, I can see Drax holding this big, huge gun, but, I, I think he would use knives more, I don't know, but, a very nice gun at that, at least, I love the paint on his, on him, are they paint or it's like scar tattoos or something? I don't know, but I like it better on this, even though this, I don't really think this is the color. I think it's more pinkish, but I do like the details in it. I might take a picture just to show more, unless you, and if you can't see it too well on uh, 360, but very nice pop. Pants kind of normal. I wish they put the daggers there, but... They're daggers, right? It's kind of big, but, uh, no details on the back of the head, which is a bit unfortunate, but very cool pop. Nice job, Dave Batista. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. You'll become the rock one day. No, you won't. I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of got into the game a little too late, I think. I don't know how old he is. Sorry! Okay, don't hurt me. Don't, uh, Batista powerbomb. I was like, well, I don't know. Okay, I need to ask my wrestling friend. Anyways, here's the 360 of Drax. This next pop is probably, honestly, my favorite. Only because I really like the character. I need to rewatch the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Anyways, but I really do like this design. Uh, I th <laughs> it's kind of got this uh, thing here, which honestly, I don't know why they didn't make this the exclusive. They have the normal one, the GameStop. Well, not normal, but they have the GameStop where he's just standing there, which I might. I'm gonna review. I have it. I'm gonna review it uh, for my personal channel soon. But he's kind of got. Uh, Han Solo guns there. I just noticed how much they look like Han Solo, but this uh, base, I feel like I feel like they use this for the uh, Boba Fett, but it's because there's a, like a little dead spot right there that has nothing, like one little detail on it where they could have put the uh, Star Wars thing, but. Uh, nice sculpt. I think this is the same head. I'm not sure. It's a better head if it is not, but I love that little fur thing, especially on the first one, too. And then he's, again, wearing that jetpack. I think this movie's gonna be awesome, honestly. But, anyways, here's the 360 of Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> Because it's 
Didn't the first one say Rocket Raccoon? Now it just says Rocket. I don't know. This next pop, I honestly think should be five bucks, six bucks, seven max. But for a retail price pop, is out of this world. But this pop is pretty cute. It is Baby Groot. And I don't know why everyone keeps calling him Baby Groot because it wasn't him dancing in that. As a potted plant, baby Groot. This should be either toddler Groot or a kid Groot. <laughs> I had a brain fart there, but it's got a very nice green on him. You can see it throughout the body. I wish I had the other one to compare, but I don't, so sorry. Love the expression on his face. This is probably one of the best pops that come out this year. And he's the smallest, too. Just to put him at the scale with us, uh, just use Star Lord. Uh, I don't have a base, but you can tell just by my hand. I have very small hands, too, so. But, man, that's. Um, but yeah, again, very impressive pop. Really like it. I like how small he is. There is a Target exclusive 10 inch. They say it's life size. Is it really though? Like, anyway, take the 360 of toddler, kid, not baby Groot. The next pop, which I'm not actually sure. If she's gonna be a villain in this movie. I don't think she is since she's in the cover, but we have Nebula. Uh I don't know this character. I wasn't even gonna get her, but I was just like, you know what, for the for a full set review, I'll just do it anyways. But she's not that bad of a pop. She's kinda I think she's in this prison outfit, or unless it's like the scavengers outfit, then uh cool I guess. She's got this nice pistol here. Got some details on it. Looks very good. You can kind of see it. I, I I love the blue and the purple combination. Um, the first one did not look too good. I'm gonna be honest here, but no, uh, I mean they kind of all looked good, but it wasn't the best. The Thanos was awesome, but uh, yeah. Got the mechanical arm, same as Cable, Winter Soldier, just one more guy, but, yeah. Uh, here's a 360 of Nebula. I say Nebula weird. Don't I? Anyways. The next pop is Mantis. Now, I believe this is going to be the villain. Only because, I don't know, it's just an assumption. I uh, like the blue in this figure. This pop figure. Uh, this blue. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, okay, she didn't break the base. But uh, Nebula comes with a disbelief base as well. But uh, very nice colors in this. She's got the blue, she's got the green, love green, it's my favorite color. A very impressive pop when you look at it up close and you hold it, and you know, and like I love the back of it because it's got all these details, but uh, she's got the mantis thing going on here, I, I, I don't like it, but, okay, trying to get this back in, there we go. Anyways, uh, here's the 360 of Mantis. Played by Kurt Russell, and it is most likely it is, but supposedly to be Star Lord's father. Uh, Kurt Russell, I think he's a great actor. Uh, big trouble in Little China. Uh, so now there's two Kurt Russell's pops, unless there was one more. I don't think there was, but 
Uh, nice hair, really like that. Let's see if we can see a simul similarity. They look like pops, they all look similar. It's not the point. Uh, got a nice key. I like the silver in it. A very basic pop, but when you look at them close, you see a lot more details. But yeah, really like that. Nothing more to say about him. He kind of looks like, um, what's his name? Jord, URL, uh, Superman's father. Kind of looks like him, doesn't it? But yeah, very cool pop. It's not the best, but it's a 360. And last but not least, the most unknown character from this movie. We're not even sure if you're the good guy or bad guy. Taser face. I remember his name because look at that face. Oh my god, nicely sculpted. Love the colors. Love his hair. I think it looks very awesome. Would I want that hair? Hell no. Get the fuck out of here. Um, <laughs> you can see he's got a nice ponytail there. Again, really like the, the mix of colors and the face. He's got the nice beard. Really like his gun too. It looks like a, a one of the, okay, I'm not gonna even say. Uh, but yeah, very cool looking gun. Love the design on him. Looks very nice. But yeah, here's a 360 of Taser Face. <laughs> Sounds like a futuristic serial killer. Anyways, uh, now I'm just gonna pick my least favorite to my favorite, uh, least favorite, right off the bat. Excuse me, excuse me. Ego. I'm sorry, it's too simple compared to the rest of them, so. Ego's my least favorite. Uh, my s next least favorite. <laughs> is uh you know uh, mantis uh, yeah i i yeah all right now let's just jump to my favorite taser no uh but the next one is not taser face it is nebula uh, it's just uh taser face is next he's just so much better looking not better looking but it's much more better pop you getting your more you getting your money out of it so Oh, now it comes becomes a little tough. Uh, I'm gonna go with the next one as Gamora, only because that gun, man. It's like it's a nice gun and all, but it's like really blocking all the details of the figure. So yeah, uh, Gamora's definitely there. My uh, fifth favorite. <laughs> Uh, the next one is Drax. Also, I just forgot to mention, he's got some pouches on his back or whatever, on his belt. But yeah, Drax, again, kind of the same reason as Gamora, the gun's kind of blocking everything. But still, uh, he, he has a better gun, so I think that's, that kind of beats up Gamora. Anyways, ooh, last three, man, either S Star Lord. Rocket Raccoon, let's make this epic. Or baby, like you can put this in your pocket and go anywhere you want. Like, oh boy, uh, I'm gonna go with Baby Groot. I'm just gonna call him Baby or whatever. I'll just go with Wayne Wagon, but bandwagon, wind wagon, man. Uh, yeah, uh, and then Rocket, and then Star Lord, man. Uh, honestly, I think the Toys R Us would probably be my favorite, only because it has the mask, and so, like, and yes, it does look like him, but you know the actor, that's why you clicked on this video, so, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, I definitely recommend this set, if you're a fan of Guardians of the Galaxy, which, I'm sure you already did, it's been out for a few weeks now, so, what are you doing? I also have a fly eye. 
I didn't show it on my last month of Friday, but if you're not a subscriber, just click subscribe. It's not that bad. I, could, I put good content, but uh, I do have the um, 3,000 pieces of Groot. No one wants them, though. No, like, they're leaving them all over. Hot topic, which I feel really bad, but it's whatever. I mean, as long as I have one of the 3,000 pieces, which I wish they numbered them, which would be a good idea. Just to say, oh, you, you have this Dorbs or Pop. With this box, you know, I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below who's your favorite character from the set. And subscribe to see so much more content. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.